headphones in like what we're like in game volume with headphones. In game volume. Yeah, oh, because yeah. you drown everything out. It's so yeah, it yeah. actually helps me focus so much. Like I, I, n I never understood why until I brought my own headphones to uh, a monthly and, a lot and just of, use a lot them. Of, and a lot of players here say that they don't want to hear the commentators speaking over them. So it's not, that's also a thing. But we have Zelda. All right, he got random Zelda against yeah. John Snake. John taking it over Napper in game three scenario. Now that we're in best of five loser semis, Landon I've seen probably play Zelda once online. On Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi Zelda, let's go. Which Final Smash be there? Oh god. Zelda actually has the best Final Smash. It's yeah, not even fair. It's not even fair. Uh, but I think next to Daisy and Peach though. But I'm seeing some Wi-Fi. I'm, I'm seeing the Wi-Fi Zelda come out right now, yeah. but it's working out. I think this matchup, I think Zelda is actually good, good, good matches against Snake. Do you agree? I agree with that. Zelda has some tools that can work against Snake, especially she has that godforsaken neutral B, as Landon is demonstrating right there. Yeah. Ooh, he went for the read right there oh, and good up B. Good oh upbeat calling out John's aggressive disadvantage state right there. Take the first stock. And Landon definitely proving why he deserves that question mark Damn. on that graphic today. Damn. Oh, he's like putting old stops on John's sake. Damn. He's not letting him breathe. And he's playing a very unique kind of Zelda right now. He's kind of going in and out, in and out, in and out. I'm liking it. Definitely making use of the Phantom, making use of her projectiles. Yeah. Zelda is actually quite scary oh though. My See, God. that's what I'm talking okay, about. That up air is so deadly. It can just blow you up in an instant. It's like Ivy up there, but stronger, I think. Just without the big hitbox, yeah. But it's just, a, it might as well just be just as strong as Ivy, you're right. It's stronger than Ivy. Yeah. See, that neutral beat just neutralizes Snake's projectile game so much because you're invincible during that entire state. Yeah. And it also reflects projectiles. Good tech there by Landon. That was really nice making things back. I don't think Dan, Dan could ever make his, miss his tech back in. Not to my knowledge. I don't. I think you're right, Big T. I don't think he's ever missed the tech. Tried to call back out it, the ups. I saw him miss tech in friendlies, but not, not ever you back it. Yo, Landon's Zelda is looking pretty clean. Right now, we still on certain, certain talk. John can't really do anything right now. Oh, he tried to do it again. He tried yeah. to do the same thing when he did the first stop right there using the up B. Didn't get the punish with the up tilt. That was kind of. John mixing up. John actually mixing up his disadvantage right there with a new directional air dodge instead of a neutral one like he did in the first stop. But oh, oh. lightning kick right there. Three stocks from Landon. Again. Three stock Zelda with a back air calling out John's landing again. Good job, Landon, taking Yo. game one. Landon's insane. He just pulled a. Like, second time Zelda, like day two Zelda against John Snake. I need a, you know what I'm gonna do for Landon's birthday? I'm just gonna like buy a deck of Uno cards. I'm gonna pull out like one Uno reverse card and just give it to him. <laughs> because that's what he does to people every time he plays a bracket match. Landon is like the no you, like <laughs> character, or, like the no you person. No you, like, nah, your main, incarnated. your main invalidated. My day two main, my day two, whatever your main is, like, Smash it. Like, that's Landon right there. All right, we'll see what luck, what Lady Luck has in, yeah. in store for Landon this time. He Let's got go. game one Zelda this time. He's gotten the random Bowser. Bowser? Oh, that's also okay. a very good character to get on random, especially against Snake. Ooh. Oh my God. Bowser just lives forever on the <laughs> PS2 go. as well. 24% right off the bat. Frame six grab, frame six up B. Bowser has a lot of good options, up and there's the up B. Okay, fair. Oh, I'll be on Legend, that's really good for coming a lot of options. Uh, gets the C4 down. Gets the C4 into the confirmed back air. Good job by John. Okay. Kind of missed the input there with the down B, I think. No, I definitely don't think it's the... I don't think it's a miss input, Big T. I think he knows exactly oh, okay. what he's doing right now, just like that. And there's oh the command grab onto the platform. Snake, a little bit too heavy, so he's going to live just a little bit longer, but the percent... Oh my goodness, I'm okay. looking at this, and I, I don't, don't believe it. I don't know what's going through John's head right now, but I think he's pretty shook. Well, um, what happened that last game, and damn, Fair is gonna take the first stock game two. Beautiful job by Landon. He's just playing super safe right now. Bowser, quite the thick boy right now. Ooh, another confirm off the grenade. The Nikita coming out. Landon missing the ledge. Still stuck in the disadvantage. Yeah, up the tilt up tilt does not, not kill. Bowser's a big boy. Not gonna do it yet. Bowser, the heaviest, the heaviest character in the game. And it, you know what? I've seen extra plays so many times. Oh, Landon a little okay. frustrated that up tilt hit, but. I've seen extra plays so many times, and I know just how scary it is when Bowser can get a lead because he just lives forever. He can do so much damage in an instant. Look at that. I'll be doing 16% yeah. right now. John just has to keep 
pushing yeah. his advantage state every time he gets into it against Landon. I think John says, yeah, getting a hangout about this matchup in his second stock. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing a lot more jumps right now. John just keeping him in the air. Landon trying to get any form of hit right now. Playing a little bit footsies right now. He knows he, he has a little bit of percent leeway against Snake. Yeah, the thing you want to do against Bowser is like wait for an option from Bowser and punch the Snake. Oh, oh no. Was, uh, Landon didn't mash fast enough, yeah. and unfortunately, that's going to cost him a stock at the ledge right there. And John now has a good lead against him. Just tries to close things out, but you got to be very careful yeah. against Bowser because things change in an instant. Bowser has thrown the better comeback in the end to his rage. Like, Bowser's rage is something you do not want to deal with. Wow, all. he called out that up smash with yeah. the side B. Good job by Landon. Nice DI from uh, John. Oh, wow, he tried to call out a roll or something, but John was just not biting. Good oh. parry right there, getting the punish in with the jab. Yeah, that fishing these up smashes by breaking the shields or something. Oh yeah, that is definitely an option right now. Landon okay. trying to close out the stock right now with the command grab. You see him fishing for it a little bit there. Downer coming out, just shield poking, I believe. Yep, with the dining hitbox up till. Snake at 136. I believe the command grab will definitely take that stock right now if he can just land it. But John, well aware of that, just keeping oh, him in the air right now. And that up air is extraordinarily strong. What a sick confirm from that grenade. Grenade I, into up air. I'm telling you, that was a good that was a good comeback from John. Just understanding the matchup based off that first stock. You saw yeah. Landon kind of running away with things a bit there. John just slowing the game a bit down, oh, getting that getting those clean confirms. And that up air man, so strong. Yeah, look at look at Landon's straight face that he knows he's pretty serious about this matchup. But damn. He's can he's as serious as he can get when it comes to Yeah, when it comes to bracket, he is dead like, he is dead focused. Alright, let's see what you know, Random is going to have for him, for Nandan. Luigi. <laughs> Inkling. Inkling, okay. Okay. Channeling his inner Zareth. All right. Let's, let's go. Let's see what Zareth taught you. This is my Inkling skin, too. Back when I played Inkling. Up throw. Ooh, he tr I think he tried to get the grab invincibility on the grenade, but he just missed mistimed okay. the up throw. But there's, there's some classic yeah. Inkling combos. All right. Nikita coming out. Pretty safe options for Snake on stage, actually. Get the stab bomb off. Going oh wow, high. he's going he's going high for that early kill. That up that up air is actually quite strong for Inkling. He's going for a lot of things. I okay, up smash. Up smash definitely good. Now Town and City is definitely a good pick for Inkling because there are few characters in oh. the game that Inkling cannot up smash out of a berry, and I think Snake is one of them, but it doesn't oh, matter okay. when you can just get a raw up smash, calling out his landing again, landed taking the first stock again. Yeah. Alright. Going to Second stock for, uh, for John, they not deal. John still putting those uh, nice percent on, on GG Baffy, but it's kind of uh, starting to find that any meaningful kill options right now. Yeah, Landon is just playing a little bit safe right now because he knows that John is going to fish for those kill moves, yeah. especially Snake. Up Having there you go. There's one of them, up tilt, going to clear out Landon's first stock again. John limiting the damage, not even taking a percent on his second stock to even things back up right away. Yeah, right now it's dead even, zero percent from both players, but G Landon getting these early percent combos, 21 percent on board. But Snake answering back with 11 percent. Inkling's just such a good character at racking of damage. He has the ink. They have the ink mechanic. Yeah. They have quite good combo throws that last for quite a long time. I noticed that. Okay, once. Okay, I, I was going to say like Landon hasn't been using jab a lot in Smash, but there you go. Got a lot of ink. There's John John. Well, John just got a drag down there right there. Didn't capitalize entirely on it, but these grenade combos gonna rack up the damage really quickly. It landed. Now has a deficit to come back from. I'm loving these grenade uses by John right now. He's just keeping the inkling away. He has ooh, he has all the leeway on the stage. Pound and C being one of the biggest stage lengthwise. The blast zones on the side obviously a little bit small, works for inkling favor, but also Snake can live a little longer off the top in the sides if he so chooses. There's the roller, oh, but okay. I'm telling you, see, that's the grenade coming into effect. The grenade can save you from the roller, oh, there you go, and again. there it is again. Good match by John and getting the down air. Landon not expecting it, I think. Just a little bit of a missed input on the DI. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be hard. That's gonna be a hard punish. Good job, Landon, recognizing that the Nikita was the other <laughs> way. Uh, that was an accidental B for a second. Well, in any case, we take those big T. Tied 1 1 right now. There's okay, the up, up tilt. tilt. John has started really figuring out these grenade combos. I'm loving it. He's just using the grenades to pressure Inkling. You know, make sure that Inkling's approach it can't be punished or yeah. can't be 
set into an advantage state too long. Those grenades just resetting things right away. Yes. Nine is sitting at 64%. A few more hits from those grenades, and he's going to be at up to percent. See that grenade combo yeah. again into the back air, landing, committing to the roller. John just holding his shield, yeah. getting a proper punish right there. And nice. Inkling, now at 100%, definitely within kill percent, I believe. Yeah, up tilt is going to take it, but you just need to find it. Actually, I can't say for sure if the up tilt will kill it yet. Yeah, uh, like if Dan is on the platform, that's going to kill. Right on the ground, maybe not. This good DI is not going to die. Hey, pending a little rage here as well, John could close the gap if he gets a little bit more percent on himself, okay. but. Definitely not something uh, you want. Okay. Yeah, see, Landon is just playing super safe right now because he's well aware of what's, uh, what happened to him. If he just completely misspaces something, he's going for that up air kill again. Oh, and the, uh, C4 is going to take it. Do you, do you see that C4 on the platform? He actually just dropped the C4 right there as, oh. he, as he turned away from Landon. Yeah. And then he caught Landon as he was trying to land. So I don't think Landon was expecting it. So good job on John calling out that landing right there. No, I did not see that at all. That was a pretty good play from uh, John. Whether that was a mix-up or not, I cannot say. But yes, I definitely agree with you, Big T. That C4 definitely comes in clutch as he takes Landon to game number four with a 2-1 yeah. lead. And this is a uh, loser's too, right? This, this is loser's semis. Winner yeah. of this will go on to face Litney in the finals. Litney the Ganondorf, yeah. as we saw losing to Alex in winner's finals. Uh, this could be Landon's tournament from this game, but who knows, we can go to game five. Hey man, if I'm landing right now, I'm gonna like... Pray, pray to Arjun, Arjun Jesus. Pray to Arjun Jesus, maybe give him a Luigi or something. Luigi or Pika. Terry! Oh no! Ooh. Oh no, we saw this against Acquisition in the other package. He kind of was asking for a Terry, like uh, but yeah, he, he says that uh, Terry and the Socials is the only character he do not want to play as Brandon. It's because Landon doesn't play many Shoto characters. Ryu can can also be added to that list, and he's told me this personally on Wi-Fi because we random did quite a bit on Wi-Fi. So every time every time he gets one of those Shoto characters, he kind of cries a little bit on the inside. Back throw right there. I think the trouble I think the trouble is just getting the inputs correctly. Yeah, there's the rising tackle. Unfortunately, not the true input version. Yeah. Now, in my opinion, now despite everything, this is actually a really good matchup for Terry. I actually quite enjoy playing Terry into Snake, just because the Buster Buster Oh yeah, I was gonna say Buster Wolf, Buster Wolf is able to go through the grenade hitbox before it detonates because it doesn't do enough percentage. Yeah, but like Snake shields a lot, and you can easily shield it like that. He can easily shield it, yes, Big T. But another thing I'm another thing I like to do against Snake is because when they recover high with the Cipher Power Geyser, just is so strong. Yeah, it, it breaks the armor too. Now I hear Landon asking how you power geyser, and unfortunately, as a commentator, I must re I must remain neutral despite Landon yeah. being one of my closest, closest and dearest friends. Maybe after the tournament, I will explain how to power geyser yeah. him. So no midside coaching from us. Yeah, I know. Robbie, Robbie sitting next to me. He's like looking at me. He's gonna kick me out of venue if yeah. I tell him power geyser. He's gonna kick me from venue if I tell him power geyser starts with a down input. <laughs> That's all I'm telling him. It starts with a down input. There's a bunch of photos of this stuff, but I'm gonna tell you, not gonna tell you the exact thing. Oh, I saw, I saw him do the burning knuckle right there. I, I, I honestly cannot tell if Landon's doing the true inputs, but oh, Lady Luck did not smile on him. Yeah. But that's a confirm right no. there. Landon popping off right there. Yeah. I saw him get the down tilt burning knuckle. Damn. Confirm. Landon's getting this uh, Terry knowledge just from playing John. All right, let's go. All right, I hear a little smack talk. Well, there's oh. another cancel right there, falling up air into the power dunk. dunk. Oh, right. he he had the cancel right there. Unfortunately, just not in time. Nair also can cancel into Burning Knuckle if you do it in the air. Wow, this is actually looking surprisingly even yeah. right now. If Landon could just figure out how to do power, no, if power only Landon could just figure oh. out how to do power geyser. He gets the, the key. To, I mean, C4 off, but that's not gonna kill. But okay. Power Geyser, no Buster Well. You know, if only Landon could figure out how to Power Geyser, maybe he'd have a better chance at winning this matchup. Yeah. Especially since John seems to love getting in the air, pulling all these grenades. Landon sitting at 160%. Terry has no yeah. kill throws, unfortunately. You cannot do anything about that. Ooh, crack shoot instead of the Burning Knuckle. Burning Knuckle probably would have done it right there at that kind of rage. Damn. All right. Ooh, oh, up smash calling oh, him out. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Landon's not done go. yet. He's taking his Terry to John's last stock, trying to force a game five scenario, especially with a character that he's not familiar with. This might be Dan's worst character, but damn, he's putting up a good show. 
He's figured. I think he's actually figured some stuff out. I've seen some good stuff right there. There's the up air. Unfortunately, not canceling into the rising tackle enough. Oh my god! Wow, he has a he has a percent lead as well. John trying to limit things. The grenade blowing up, getting him out of that throw combo. Ooh, just an empty hop land and getting caught by John. There's the up tilt. Up -tilt. Is that punish? Yeah. The key up. Okay. Oh, it does not does not read the well there. All right, there's the fair. Landon approaching that magical 100%. That 100% actually means so much. You can win neutral twice and you yeah. can come back from it. A Buster Wolf at max rage can absolutely destroy a snake and at the edge of the stage. There Terry, it is. Terry being heavy, Goal. he won't die to up tilt. Goal meter online, and unfortunately, oh, he ran into the C4. C4 take it. Oh, what a good one from Landon, though. What a good random run by Landon. Just unfortunately, Rand Lady Luck just did not smile yeah. on him with that final. Shoto Terry pick. Yeah, what a run. And then you deserve top four. But you know what? We got smi we got smiles on the faces we got and good times all around. Yeah. I'm sure Landon is quite proud and happy that he's made top four with a random. And he's going to get the graphic. And he's going to get his uh, wonderful graphic later tonight. Yeah, it, it's been a nice commentary. You have to go. It's 9.30. All right, Big T. Thanks for all coming right. out, man. Thank you. Let's hope uh, the finals is uh, as highlighted as it is, then. We'll see. We'll see, Big T. Oh, it's John has the John Litney, Litney Ganondorf versus Snake. Not a good matchup, but we've seen how far Litney has been able to come. He's the number one seed here, so All right. I'll be interested to see what happens. All right, it's been nice talking with you. It's been Big T. Out. All right, later, Big T. All right, see ya. Bye.